So welcome back everybody. Just Mike here. Don't forget to subscribe because it's free. Anyway, today we're going to talk a little bit about this movement here. Uh, we had, or I had, a person that wanted me to get this movement running again. They, I guess, went through it and they didn't get the timing back on, so I got it back on for them. But the legs that are on here, let me see here. I looked it up, and in case you're interested, and I'll leave uh, what it's called below and possibly a link to get them if you're interested. But these are a two and a half inch assembly post clamps with hanger. And for what I've seen, it's $18.75 plus shipping. This is so you can hang a clock like that and it comes with the legs it comes with this that you're supposed to use a wood screw in and I didn't use this because I need to get a longer wood screw because I went through the sheetrock and it's not quite enough to hit the 2x4 in the back you can use a piece of plywood that's braced up and leveled so you can watch the movement work anyway the screw it's got an indentation there so you can screw it in and it's flush and that will sit right in here this distance here is actually perfect to be up against the wall and still hold that movement I'll show it to you so this is it this is the side that where the sheetrock or the plywood would be and it hangs right in here so it'll hold it up nicely and you see this distance here it makes up for the that part there and this way you can watch your clock run or if you need to you can put these feet on the other side and you can watch the movement and see how things are moving here these here are simply twist off this is adjustable you can see how much thread is on here and if you want it hooked up in here you just put it on there snug it up and there you go of course you're going to put it, put this all of this onto this side of the movement so you can watch it it depends on what you need to do with your movement so this is what the kit comes with. The old kits used to have this with the wing nut on it. I don't see anyone ever really using those things. You don't have to tighten these up the wrench. They come with this. They come with this which is adjustable however you need it. The way you put these together you have two of them that have threads on them. One thing you have to do is stick it in there put the nut on but don't put it on tight so this still turns you set this screw this on there and now this will screw into your movement and so you hook that up to the bottom of the top and just turn this and that'll get tighter and then once you have it tight then you can go ahead Tight, finger tighten that and that's all it's going to take thread it on there screw that onto your movement once it's on, 
Go ahead and tighten that down. Now it's ready to be hooked up. So of course this also comes with it. You screw that into your plywood or your wall or whatever if it's long enough. I have a half inch sheetrock before it hits the stud and I want to make sure that's good and solid so I need a longer screw. And with the movement right here, this is on the wall. This just hooks on right in there. You have this distance and this distance that are the same, so it's not going to be wo wobbling all over the place. And it just sets on there. And of course, you level your clock then for purposes of number one, so the clock will tick, and number two, if you're pendulum isn't ticking properly you can adjust that and you can see how it's doing I think a wonderful tool so that's just a little bit of a show off on a tool that can help you and might be cheaper just to use this thing than trying to build your own thing out of wood unless you're a good carpenter or whatever but just the same it's nice small compact and you can almost put it anywhere to where you can watch your movement work and see if there's a problem if you're having a problem with the movement not either keeping up with the ticking or possibly even the cuckoo or a gong depending on what what you have for a clock movement so until next time don't forget to subscribe again and give me a good thumbs up i enjoy those too we will be working on who knows what type of a clock so anyway until next time god bless